Tiffany Leanne Design. Uh, at this moment, I just want to share with you about uh, how to pick your window shades. Um, in this step, you will learn the details of what styles, uh, what questions to ask, and how to pick your window shades. Uh, it's quite important, usually, especially if you're buying a new home or you come into an old home, you either need to replace the window shades because the owner before had just old, old, shoddy blinds, aluminum, louvered, whatever, verticals, um, and you need to make it your own. Um, other people, uh, you know, you've, you've got a new home and there's no shades, and so you have to put shades in. Um, so here are a few tips that I'll talk through with you and then just download the PDF and go through the questions. Question number one is what is your planned investment? We all have a budget. We need to really uh, think through this and think how much you are able to or willing to spend on your window shades. Uh, the main reason is because there are uh, companies out there that sell window shades for extremely low cost, which are very economical. They have um, few selections, so the you know if you want a very basic white, that might be the way to go. Um, and then they're able to you know extend to you those low costs because they are um, made overseas and have their own um, manufacturing um, capabilities. So that's one one route. The other, um, you know, is I'm sure you've heard of Hunter Douglas because they are the number one in their industry. However, they are like the Rolls Royce of window shades. So if you don't have the budget for that, then you don't really want to start looking at it and then just fall in love with it and then realize you can't get it um, because it's too expensive. Um, I don't want you to fall into that pitfall. You know, it's a waste of your time and then also it's just emotional energy. Um, Hunter Douglas is the leader in the industry, so there are a lot of companies that quote unquote copy them. They're not exactly the same exact technology, but they're very similar. Um, and then some things that Hunter Douglas does, just other companies, depending on your budget, just don't do. So I'd hate for you to fall in love with something and then you just can't get it. So um, there are a few uh, sources that I love to use. Um, number one is Chicology going from price grade down lowest to highest. Number two is uh, Century Blinds. They're exceptional. They're made here in uh, Chino Hills. And then um, the third is I love to use the Shade Store. They have just phenomenal fabrics and they um, have ex excellent customer service. And then number four is Hunter Douglas. So those are my four go-to window shade companies. Question number two is what kind of light control do you need? Each room and each space is going to have different um, capabilities of light control. So there's different variations of the fabrics that range from sheer to semi-sheer to room darkening and then and blackout. So if you like to sleep in on the weekends, then you're going to want a blackout uh, layer. If you don't really care to sleep in in your bedroom, then a room darkening is just fine. So um, we need to think about also solar. Is there a lot of glare? Is there a lot of light coming in in that window? Then uh, that would be a place where you would put solar type fabric that uh, filters and deflects away the solar out of your house. <clears throat> uh, the roller shades have a lot of those and they're not ugly like those industrial type um, restaurants, which unless you really love the modern look, they look amazing. Um, but they have some really beautiful fabrics that look like a sheer linen with texture and the technology now is so incredible. So they have some beautiful fabrics that are solar and uh, block out that. So that's a really good option for those spaces. Um, if you just need just general uh, window softening and some semi-privacy, then I think a sheer would be just fine and you can utilize that in many different types of um, window treatments. But one of my favorites to do is a sheer shade or what Hunter Douglas calls is a silhouette. Those are gorgeous. They look like a shutter, but they're fabric, so they're soft. Um, shutters are another great point. A lot of people like to put shutters in. They're gorgeous. I would mainly do them in a formal space. So if you want to do them in your living room and dining room, and then don't just leave them at that. That's like putting a skeleton right up on you know a stand without putting a cute little hat on him and a coat to dress him up in some type of pirate you know outfit. 
You need to um, do some stationary drapes on either side to treat the shutters, to soften all that architectural, you know, the hard lines in the woods. That's a must, even if it's a white linen um, and you just want it all to be really serene and, and white. Perfectly fine, but we need softness. And uh, then you could do shutters also up in the um, bedroom, master bedroom if you like, to really create that nice elegant plantation look. The third question is what kind of privacy do you need? You need to assess what this room uh, privacy needs. Usually bedrooms, bathrooms, those need full privacy. So you need something that covers um, the window that you can pull all the way down so you can have full privacy. So there's a lot of options for those. The, you know, there's honeycomb types. The sheer shades have full privacy when you close the louvers, shutters, uh, certain fabrics in the roller shades have that. Um, so you can kind of think about, you know, what type of privacy you need. Um, how are your neighbors looking in? Unfortunately, with so much um, of all of our homes being so close together, we all love in this area in Southern Orange County. And for those of you who are out of state, maybe you don't need privacy and you have like an acre away from your neighbors. That's awesome. So, you know, capture all that light as much as light as you need. Um, and you can just focus on your solar needs. So, um, yes, yeah. but unfortunately where, where I am in Southern California, most common thing is privacy. My neighbors are right there. So um, we need to put something, at least some type of, depending on how private the space is, maybe just a sheer, so they can only see shadows. So things that have just a white lining or a sheer, um, the way that the light candles in, um, the, you know, your neighbor would only see shadows of, of you walking by. If you don't even want them to see shadows, then definitely do the blackout or room darkening so they can't see shadows. Question number four is what style is your space? That obviously plays a big role in what types of shades you're going to be producing. It is it modern? Is it um, contemporary? Is it Tuscan? Is it traditional? Is it country? Is it casual? So all those things will um, determine what style of shade that you choose. And in my consultations, I'm able to turn, I, I can tell you right away that, you know, depending on your architecture and then the style you're going for, uh, what shades to, to steer clear of and what shades to use, depending on that style. So um, there's a whole list in the PDF download of each style and then what shades I would recommend for those styles. So I hope this video has helped. Uh, again, download the PDF to go through it in detail. And uh, please feel free to ask any, any questions or if you're local here and you'd like to book a consultation for me to go through your windows in your home and we can um, you know, help you determine what shades you need, just email at hello at tiffanyleandesign.com. Thank you and get creative and happy decorating.